Welcome back, everybody. Uh, if you've been following in my previous videos, you have been learning how to solve the 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. Now, up to this point, you should have been able to solve the first two layers of the Rubik's Cube, assuming you followed all of my steps correctly. And now we come to the magical third layer of the Rubik's Cube. This third layer will actually take four different steps to solve, because it is the, har it is the hardest layer, because you have to learn how to, um, how to get how to orient all of these pieces surrounding the yellow center without disturbing the first two layers that you've already solved. So, with that, let's get started. The first, this, the first step is simply to get the yellow cross of the Rubik's Cube. Basically, to get the yellow cross, all you have to do is uh, get the yellow edge pieces on top. It doesn't matter which color, it doesn't matter the colors uh, that it doesn't matter if the other colors on the yellow edge match up with their centers yet. We'll get to that in a moment. The first thing you want to do is you want to check to see if any yellow edges are on top. And they will always be in three distinct positions. You'll either see no yellow edge colors on top, you'll either see an L shape like this, or you'll see a line, or you'll see the completed result, the entire cross. Sorry, four, four cases, not three. In this case, we see the L shape, and uh, there's a specific algorithm for it, and uh, you'll only use this algorithm in this step. Um, there, you don't have to learn any other algorithms for this step, just this one. So the algorithm is F R U R prime U prime F prime, and with that, now we come to one of the other cases the line the line is uh the line is the exact same as the as the l shape it features the exact same algorithm just make sure that the uh that the line is horizontal from your position not vertical you want to make sure that when you perform the algorithm it's horizontal okay the algorithm again is f r u r prime u prime f prime and with that, you should come to having a cross. If you come to a case in which uh, you'll see no yellow uh, colors on top, then that's no big deal. Just perform the uh, just perform the algorithm again: f r u r prime u prime f prime, and you'll get the L shape. The L shape. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention: um, if you want to. Um, in order to uh, perform the algorithm with the L shape, make sure that in the correct position, I forgot to mention this, uh, you have to make sure that the L is in the correct position. You want to make it so that the L is backwards and that um, the, um, the top of the L and the side of the L are facing your left hand. Make sure that it's in that correct position before you perform the algorithm, otherwise you will not see the line in the next part of, this, of the process.